Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. When we as hunters return to the same areas year after year, I don't think we can help but look fondly at the encounters of the past. And with those experiences, we grow to understand the topography. And like a coach breaking down a busted play, we analyze what we did wrong and daydream about the adventures and when it all worked out. In 2017, we returned to this coolie scarred landscape, bow in hand, to hunt deer in the same broken country of western Nebraska, seeking to capitalize on what we learned and grasp the glory of the past yearning to once again be too close for comfort. Listen up, I've rode this mountain 70 years I've been alive Choked on rocks and rattlesnakes, a wonder I've survived and Don't think I haven't had a bronc like you try me Every time he thinks a monster is hiding around a tree Well, the monster's on your back, son, better try to understand the cowboy that you're fighting now was born to this here land. One day you'll learn your scars and all the fearlessness you lack. Don't worry about the things that you can't see. The monster's on your back. And there's a monster on your back.
I forgive you. This one time. This one What you don't know is that Dave, he forgets things, but he also does, can't tell time. So he got up an hour and a half early this morning because he got confused on what we call in the United States time change. Um, when you cross into this part of Nebraska, the hour changes. And Dave got up to make coffee an hour and a half early. And being the kind gentleman that he is, he brought me a cup. And I said, what are you doing up so early? But he was very, he was very kind. See, the problem with this is, you throw me under the bus instead of saying, he was so excited because of the bucks we saw. That's why I got up early. I was dreaming of big bucks. <laughs> I'll just find a big buck while you guys are getting ready. I already found it. I'm gonna re-find it. Does it count if I re-find it? No. It, does. it doesn't? No. Dang it. Last year, we had Angry Buck, uh -huh. and he was my nemesis. You know, he's the one that Did just... you lose some sleep over him? Oh. Yeah, a lot. And I still lose sleep over him because I see him. I see him in the middle of the night like this. I see just the little black eyebrow. You know, it's funny how animals will do that to you. White tails, mule deer, elk, whatever. You find one and you have this. Infatuation. And then they best you. You can use it for motivation. It drives you for the next year. I would have killed uh, Angry Buck yes, last year. You would not have killed I would have. No, you wouldn't. I would have. You didn't see what I was seeing at that point. And then you come over Dude. and you rip into me saying, I could have killed it right. And you didn't see what I saw. Dude, why didn't you just stab him with a knife? Look at that bed. You couldn't ask for, you should check that out. I should have freaking come over here with my trad bow and shot him from right there. Matter of fact, I'll probably put my bow down and jump on him with my freaking arrow and a knife, and he'll be he'll be freaking quartered and dead in this in one foul swoop. Oh, you keep saying that. I'm, I'm oh, gonna yeah. kill you. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here in Nebraska, and it's one of Dave and my favorite hunts because of the country, but also just because of the way this hunt sets up. It sets up great for spot and stock. It sets up great for multiple camera angles. Yeah, but it's, it's the reality of it, Trev. If you do it right, you can't do retakes. No. There's no retakes or reenactments. It is just raw, this is how it is, good, bad, or indifferent. Hitting or missing, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. I found them. Oh, I found one of the bucks. I don't know. He's a he's a he's a five by four. He's inside his ears, but he's I mean he's he's decent. Well, this buck's in a great position. If this isn't the buck you want to kill, I'd more than happy just step in. I know you've you said tag that me so out. many times. You tag me out. And you I'll want shoot me to? It. You want me to step down? <laughs> well, let's sneak down around this point. We'll get up on that other bank and, and work our way it. up the bottom yeah. and go from there. There could be some deer in here too. That's awesome. That's what that's what hunting these coolies is all about. Sneaking up through here, 
just picking the country apart, able to make a little stock here on the buck. Not one that I wanted to take, but I needed to see him first since I only saw a couple tines uh, when, when I first spotted him. And it looks like I just gave away my chance to go after that buck. Trevin is up. <laughs> Do you want me to go on the hill, kind of directly downwind of him? That way he stands and looks uphill? Yes, if possible, yes. That was textbook. The decoy was in perfect position. I could see that buck underneath the belly. Just worked back and forth a little bit. His attention was on me. That buck stood up, quartering away for Trev. Dude, I'm in the dirt. He was right here and I'm right there. Oh, look at him. He's right here and oh, wow. How Wow. Dude, what happened? That was a slam dunk. I mean, I could have gone over there and I could have jumped on him and killed him with an arrow. That was a slam dunk, man. You should have had that buck. Look at where the sun's at. Look at where the sun's at. And the moon and the stars. <laughs> Dude, you should have had that buck. All right. Remember this from last year? Let me, let me have it. I deserve it. Yeah, he was quartering about like that, but he was that, he was further that way. And I'm there here, so where his back, I can see where his back come, is come, come right here, Mike. Let me, let me set you up what, what I was seeing. So right about here. I saw you down there. Did you see him turning? Well, back? yeah, I did, but I was already full draw. He, and I was hoping he'd turn and give me a little bit better angle. He didn't. He just turned his head. And so I tried, I tried to come right here, and what I ended up doing is, it well. It sounded like a hit, but that it did. was the dirt that yeah. I Yeah. I mean, cool. if I would have come up right there, he would have been gone. Oh, he would have. By you getting him to stand, I thought he was dead. The decoy worked great. Just again, like, again, again. I, I thought he was dead, honestly, because I felt, I mean, rock solid. And then, boom, and thump, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I thought I tucked it right behind, right off the, the hip, boom. And then for you to tell me he's in the next county and he's still running, <laughs> and then come up and find out why my arrow. That was fun though, buddy. Dang it, dude. I was so, that's probably the most relaxed I've ever been shooting at a deer.
Okay, go ahead and back off the hill, go all the way back around, and uh, I mean, you may even drop down and try to get to the far right bales to the right of those cottonwoods because there were deer going in this morning to those pines. We just got done on that buck that Trevin shot into the bank, called him Lucky Buck now. And since we don't have anything else bedded to go stock on, there's this alfalfa field that's up in the middle between these two bedding areas. So we figured we'd just come up here for the evening and sit and see what moves out. Trevin has gone around to the other end of the field, hunting a different side, and we'll just sit the evening and see what happens. That white tail right in front of Trevin. He's gonna shoot it. He got it. Big white tail walked right by them. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm sitting here glassing the edge of this field and I see this really nice white tail. I, I see him in the sunlight come out from some cedars over there and then I look back and all of a sudden I see him come to full draw. That buck stops and turns and looks towards his direction and I see the buck mule kick and then blood just gushing out the side and he said he's down, so that's awesome. I just shot a nice white tail. That is a nice white tail. I am shaking like a dadgum little girl that just got the Princess Barbie she wanted for her birthday. We're just in between the hay bales and that's a nice white tail. I'm so glad I didn't see him coming because I would have probably, I would have got nervous and probably screwed the shot up. What a stud. What a stud. How old do you think a deer like this is with a body like this? That is a good white tail. I don't care where you're from.
Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.